Why is Adam Levine returning to The Voice? Welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. He's back. After a four-year hiatus, Adam Levine, known for his frontman role in Maroon 5, is set to retake the limelight in the season 23 finale of The Voice. His return to The Voice, where he previously held the coach's seat for 16 impressive seasons, holds a special significance. But why is he making his way back? To showcase his music, for one. As part of Levine's grand return, he'll be introducing Maroon 5's new single, Middle Ground, which will be released just a few days before their live performance and music video launch. This surprise comeback aligns with the departure of the show's last original coach, Blake Shelton. Shelton, who recently confirmed his decision to step down, has been a consistent presence since the show began in 2011, meaning he's been on screen for over a decade as a voice coach. He's the only coach to appear in every single season so far. Shelton and Levy were adversaries during their time on the show together, a fun rivalry that fans love to keep up with. So when Shelton made the decision to leave the show was affected by the onset of COVID-19, it was a personal matter. He met his now wife and former coach, Gwen Stefani, while working on the show, and found he had forged a deep friendship with Levine as they worked alongside each other. Having a hard time wrapping my head around at a damn Levine not being at at NBC T Voice anymore, Shelton wrote about Levine's departure at the time. After 16 seasons that changed both of our lives. Gonna miss working with that idiot, he joked. But now, with Levine's return to The Voice, Fans can look forward to a much-anticipated performance and the exciting dynamic he will bring back to the show. Shelton and Levin can have one last hurrah together before they both make their exit, and that's definitely something to look forward to for longtime and new fans alike. The news broke like a lightning bolt in the world of music and reality television. Adam Levine the charismatic frontman of Maroon 5 and original coach of The Voice, was making a return to the iconic singing competition. Fans were ecstatic, social media buzzed with excitement, and speculation ran wild. Why, after leaving the show in 2019, had Adam decided to come back? For Adam, the decision was both personal and professional. He had missed the thrill of coaching, the joy of discovering new talent, and the camaraderie with the other coaches but there was more to it than that. Adam felt he had unfinished business on The Voice. When Adam left The Voice in 2019, it was a decision driven by a need for change. After 16 seasons, he wanted to focus on his family, his music, and new creative ventures. He had achieved incredible success with Maroon 5, releasing hit after hit, and he was eager to explore new horizons. The break allowed Adam to recharge. He spent quality time with his wife, by Hadi Prince Lou and their two daughters, Geo Grace and Dusty Rose. He also dove into various projects, including a new album with Maroon 5 and several business ventures. But no matter how busy he was, there was always a part of him that missed the energy and excitement of The Voice. Adam's tenure on The Voice was marked by many memorable moments. He was known for his witty banter with fellow coach Blake Shelton his passionate mentoring of contestants, and his unwavering commitment to helping artists find their unique voices. He had coached three winners to victory and had built a reputation as a mentor who genuinely cared about his team's success. For many contestants, being on Adam's team was a dream come true. His experience, industry knowledge, and dedication made him a beloved coach. The bonds he formed with his team members often extended beyond the show with Adam continuing to support their careers long after the season ended. Speculation about Adam's return to The Voice began to surface months before the official announcement. Fans noticed cryptic posts on social media, subtle hints in interviews, and a renewed presence in the public eye. Rumors swirled that he was in talks with the show's producers, but nothing was confirmed. Behind the scenes, discussions were indeed taking place. The producers of The Voice were keen to bring Adam back, recognizing the impact he had on the show's success. They reached out to him, presenting a compelling case for his return. Adam was intrigued but hesitant. He loved the show, but he needed to be sure it was the right move for him and his family. 
The turning point came during a casual dinner with fellow The Voice coaches Blake Shelton and Kelly Clarkson. They reminisced about the good times on the show, the incredible talent they had encountered, and the unique bond you know, they shared. It's not the coaches. same without you, Blake said, raising his glass. We had something special, and I think the fans would love to see you back. Kelly nodded in agreement. And think about the contestants, Adam. You've always been an incredible mentor. You have so much to offer. Their words struck a chord with Adam. He realized how much he missed the thrill of the competition, the joy of mentoring, and the camaraderie with his fellow coaches. The decision was becoming clearer. The official announcement of Adam's return to The Voice was made with great fanfare. A special promo video was released, featuring clips of Adam's best moments on the show, interspersed with new footage of him in the studio, smiling and ready to take on the challenge once more. Guess who's back? Adam said in the promo, flashing his signature grin. I've missed you all, and I can't wait to find the next big star. Let's do this. The response was overwhelming. Fans flooded social media with messages of excitement and support. Fellow musicians and former contestants expressed their joy at his return. It was clear that Adam's comeback was not just a win for the show, but for the entire The Voice community. Returning to The Voice felt like coming home for Adam. The familiar set, the buzzing energy of the crew, and the anticipation of the blind auditions all brought back a flood of memories. He was welcomed with open arms by Blake, Kelly, and the new coach, Ariana Grande. The chemistry between the coaches was electric. Adam and Blake quickly fell back into their playful banter, teasing each other and competing for the best contestants. Kelly brought her infectious enthusiasm, and Ariana added a fresh perspective and youthful energy to the panel. As the blind auditions began, Adam felt a renewed sense of purpose. He was determined to find and nurture the next great talent. He listened intently to each performance hitting his button with confidence and passion when he heard something special. Chapter 8. A New Generation of Talent One of the most rewarding aspects of being a coach on The Voice is discovering new talent. Adam was blown away by the caliber of contestants in the new season. Singers from all genres and backgrounds took the stage, each bringing their unique style and story. Adam's team quickly filled up with an eclectic mix of artists. There was Sarah, a soulful singer with a voice that could move mountains. Jake, a country crooner with a heart of gold. Mia, a pop sensation with a knack for writing catchy hooks. And David, a rock vocalist with a gritty edge. Each contestant brought something special to the table, and Adam was excited to help them develop their talents. The battle rounds were intense. Adam worked tirelessly with his team, offering guidance and pushing them to reach their full potential. He brought in guest mentors to provide additional support and insights. The contestants bonded with each other, forming friendships and learning from one another. Adam's coaching style was a mix of tough love and unwavering support. He challenged his team to step out of their comfort zones, encouraging them to take risks and experiment with their performances. At the same time, he was always there to offer a comforting word and a reassuring smile. The battle rounds were a test of skill and perseverance. Adam had to make difficult decisions, choosing which contestants would move on to the next stage. It was never easy, but he trusted his instincts and believed in his team's potential. As the competition progressed, the stakes grew higher. The knockouts and live shows required contestants to bring their A-game. Adam continued to work closely with his team, helping them refine their song choices, stage presence, and vocal techniques. The live shows were a whirlwind of excitement and pressure. The contestants performed in front of a live audience and millions of viewers at home. Adam felt a deep sense of pride watching his team members shine on stage. They had come so far, and he was determined to help them go even further. The audience's votes played a crucial role in determining the contestants' fate. Adam encouraged his team to connect with the viewers, to share their stories, and let their personalities shine. It was important for the audience to see not just their talent, but also their passion and dedication. The finale of The Voice was a culmination of weeks of hard work, dedication, and incredible performances. Adam's team had made it to the final round, and he was filled with anticipation and pride. The finalists had grown tremendously under his mentorship, and he was confident in their abilities. 
The final was a star-studded event with performances from the finalists, the coaches, and special guest artists. Adam took the stage with his team, performing a powerful medley that showcased their talents and the bond they had formed.